Skin bleaching refers to the practice of using cosmetics and other chemicals to tone the skin, unknowingly reducing the melanin concentration of the skin, meaning its negative effects outweigh what it is intended for. This practice is more common with the black race, presumably to enhance their beauty. That is why participants at the first scientific conference of the Association of African Dermatologists highlighted kidney damage, psychiatric disorder, and severe birth defect as some of the negative effects of skin bleaching due to high level mercury in the cream. We we'll continue to educate people that um, bleaching creams um, cause harm to the skin and to the entire health. I think we should appeal to women and even the men who admire those who bleach uh, to encourage them to not to change their skin. We should all accept a God-given uh, complexion. We are working with NAFDAC to ensure that a lot of them are not allowed. But what we find very interesting is that what is being used for bleaching, one, they use a lot of steroids. Now, we use the steroids in the hospital for treating, so we can't ban it. So in other words, the steroids are being abused as a skin bleaching agent, so it's difficult. The use of intravenous injection to turn the skin is also condemned by experts, noting its high risk on an individual and the society at large. It was discovered that giving patients who were very ill with the thion made them light, and people just kicked into it. However, the problem is, number one, the drugs are given intravenously, and they are given by people who are not qualified, who do not understand the possible complications of giving intravenous drugs. And so what we are toying with now is an increase in HIV, hepatitis, because these are injections. You will take the injection and it goes into your skin. As of today, Nigeria has just about 200 dermatologists, a number noted to be grossly inadequate to cater for the population. Rashid at Mustafa Olagunju, NTA News.